Okay, my next topic is going to be abdominal trauma, right? Now, I want to start off with gunshot wounds. Gunshot wounds, we all know, usually what are we going to do? Exploratory laparotomy, right? But what is the test question going to test us on? Right upper quadrant gunshot wounds. In this case, we're going to conservative therapy. What is conservative therapy? Serial abdominal exams. So if a patient comes in with a gunshot wound to the right upper quadrant pain, are you going to laparotomy? No. You're going to go to serial abdominal exams. It's a common mistake students make on the test and know it, okay? Gunshot wounds, most cases you go to exploratory laparotomy. If they're in the right upper quadrant, you're going to serial abdominal exams. They've asked it and students commonly get it wrong. Next, let's go to stab wounds. First, we want to see if penetration has occurred. If penetration has occurred and the patients are hemodynamically unstable, exploratory man laparotomy is mandatory. But if there's no signs of instability, that's when we do digital exploration with the gloved finger, okay? So in stab wounds, what are we gonna do? We're gonna once again look at our hemodynamic stability. If they're hemodynamically unstable, exploratory laparotomy. If there's no signs of instability, digital exploration with gloved finger will suffice, all right? And if findings are equivocal, we go to the CT. Finally, the most confused thing people get wrong in abdominal trauma, blunt abdominal trauma. And I know people commonly mix up diagnostic peritoneal lavage versus fast ultrasound. And I'm going to go over it for you guys, okay? First of all, what do I want to do? Just like stab wounds, I want to assess hemodynamic stability. If the patient's hemodynamically stable, bam, CT scan, okay? And here's where it gets tricky. If they are hemodynamically unstable, what do I want to do first? Fast, focus assessment with ultrasound. Not diagnostic peritoneal lavage if they're unstable first. First, I want to do a fast ultrasound. The question may show fast and diagnostic peritoneal lavage, both there. If fast is there, you're going with the fast, all right? And if the patient's hemodynamically unstable, you do the fast. If they're positive, boom, laparotomy. However, if you do the fast and the fast is inconclusive, that's when you're going to diagnostic peritoneal lavage. And if the diagnostic peritoneal lavage is positive, you're going to laparotomy. Now, the question may show a hemodynamically unstable patient, and you may not see this fast here. That's the only case I want you to go to the peritoneal lavage and then laparotomy. But if you see FAST and perineal lavage in there, you're going at the FAST first. And the only time you are going to perineal lavage is if the FAST is inconclusive, if both of these answer choices are there. Review. Gunshot wounds. First thing, exploratory laparotomy. What's the, the exception to the rule in this case? Right upper quadrant. Right upper quadrant, gunshot wounds, serial abdominal exams, conservative therapy. Stab wounds. We want to check hemodynamic stability. If they're unstable, exploratory laparotomy is mandatory. If there's no signs of instability, stab wounds, digital exploration with a gloved finger, and if findings are equivalent, CT. Blunt abdominal trauma. Once again, measure hemodynamic stability. If they're stable, CT. If they're unstable, first step, fast ultrasound. Fast ultrasound, if it's positive, laparotomy. If it is inconclusive, diagnostic peritoneal lavage. And if the diagnostic peritoneal lavage is positive, we go to laparotomy.